What we're doing here with green manure cover crops is I'm using them to uh, confuse Colorado potato beetles. I cut strips, plant the potatoes, I try to do my uh, weed cultivation and hilling so that the potato plants are, are well established and then at that stage I knock down the rye and vetch and usually by then it's late June, early July and that's the first the potato beetles even come into the field. They don't need to have a big mulch on the ground like I would put on the tomatoes. I just want to have some contact with the straw on the potato plants. With this method, uh, I've never had to spray more than twice and, uh, for potato beetles. And, and, and at best, it's a spot spraying. I don't spray the whole field because good portions of the field, there won't be any potato beetles at all. It's usually on an edge of where they'll come in to the end of the rows are an edge of where a field of solanaceous crops were the preceding year and they'll find a few, a few rows. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.